Hello, hello everybody. This is Ominous for Responsible Gaming. We're doing Ominous Designs episode 137. Pretty good. Uh, this episode is called Legend. Not even gonna finish. So you guess. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a couple of card types, uh, creature types, that I do not believe I've been legendary before. Actually, I think I did check. Um, and we're gonna make some legendary cards for them. Um, I I had the random inspiration from uh, some Reddit thread on one of those card types. Uh, the card types in question we'll do next, uh, we'll do second. The first one we're gonna do is, drum roll, we're gonna do Pegasus. So, Pegasus, as it is, doesn't exist in its legendary form in Magic the Gathering. Uh, we're gonna check very quickly, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. Legendary Pegasus. Number of results, zero. Okay, so, uh, it's too late anyways. We're doing it. I got a little bit of an idea. Um, so, uh, what I think would be fun is, so, oh boy, do we have, cre oh, we do have creatures in there. Okay, cool. I always type the whole thing. So, what I think might be fun is, I would like to do a Besto creature because you know that uh, a Pegasus would be a very, uh, logical thing to have be um a bisto you you just uh you just kind of climb on it right so oh, what's going on here i didn't even know that there was there was a, a list like this in uh magic set editor that's kind of cool um so i do believe we also want it to be something of the like of a nimbus naiad uh, which is going to be a flyer with a low power toughness uh, so I'm just gonna look for the Nyad. Uh, Nimbus Nyad. So, um, and I've been thinking, so th there I've been thinking a little bit already. I've been thinking we want to make this a cool creature that has a bestow cost that's not completely crazy. So probably I would not do a 2-2 two, two flyer, I would do a 2-1 flyer for 2, which is really pushed already. Uh, you start with, I mean, another 2-1 flyer for 2 is acceptable, but a 2-1 flyer for 2 that has a Besto ability uh, is going to be pretty darn good. Uh, let's see, Besto, okay, that's cool. So let's say we do, I don't know yet, let's say we do this. Um, that's definitely totally pushed, um, but still kind of fine. Uh, we'll, we'll see the balance just after. The thing is, um, I want to do something of the sort of, um, I want to do, I want to do something that will happen if it's bestowing a legendary creature. So, um, one thing comes to mind is this, sacrifice the Pegasus and regenerate, um, regenerate enchanted Enchanted creature if it is legendary. What do you think about that? Uh, I kind of like it. I think it's cool. Um, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty uh, it's pretty darn simple and I think it's very flavorful right because you imagine uh, the mount uh, that 
you could um, you could use if you're not legendary. That's okay. But for some reason, uh, it's like a, a loyal, you know, a faithful um, uh, uh, animal that's gonna save its owner, provided that the owner is a hero of some sort. Um, that's for a little, a little spin on the flavor. Um, I don't think I want to make it straight up uh, a totem, basically a totem armor. Um, so, like, can I do totem armor in there? I shouldn't be able to. Um, no. Um, totem armor. Um, totem armors, how do they work exactly? Totem armor, if enchanted creature would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. Uh, not quite the same, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, no, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to, I was going to say I can use totem armor, but I don't want to because um, I don't want it to act, to to work for every creature. Um, what I could do as well is say sacrifice blah blah blah, uh, enchanted creature gains position against uh, some color. Uh, um, huh. Interesting. What's the most uh, logical and uh, and flavorful and powerful? I'm actually realizing that I should actually make the creature indestructible. That would make more sense in white, and because regenerate is kind of funky in, in a it's kind of funky in white. Uh, the flavor of saving somebody by making them indestructible is a little weird. Uh, but there is no, I mean, it's one of the ways to actually save a creature uh, literally in the game. Regenerating is kind of like healing, I suppose, N not dying. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure both flavors have happened in different times. Um, so yeah, yeah, let's make it regenerate. Uh, so enchanted creature um, against in this oh this truck tibly until end of turn if it is legendary. Um yeah, you know. Um when Thing. So, I know that a 2-1 flyer for 2 is actually a common, if I'm not mistaken, um, in white. It's not a common one, but it exists. Flying, color white, uh, text no, flying yes. 2 power flyers. Uh, exist in quite a few different set apparently um, so that's okay and they most of them are common uh, oh look at the sacrifice of a spirit creature you control in a stream at the end of turn it's kind of funny uh, so yeah so now we have uh, a card that's probably rare more than its mythic I think uh, as a pretty cool besto of well now for five I think I could make it four in a white um, because as it stands, it's not even like without the ability here and with those stats, it is not even a straightforwardly better Nimbus Naiad because it's got one toughness. Um, so, and this, this upside is actually pretty, uh, borderline, right? It's only for a gender creature. So now I'm thinking I can actually push the design. Um, what I'm going to be looking at is a black bestial card that I forgot the name of uh, and it's going to be oh it's true that this one has a downside so it's gonna throw us for s in a loop for uh, power level but this guy for five gives plus three plus three flying but it also loses you a life every turn um, that's rare though um, oh, and we have, we do have a 
um, a huge the Archon. It's a huge white guy, uh, white flyer. It's got flying first strike and it's four four and that's seven. Um, so for four you can get hmm. I honestly thinking that uh, seeing that it's a legendary. Um, creature if I pushed it all the way I could see this I could see two white white and two two potentially uh, two two flyer for two uh, provided that it's a legendary rare I think might be fine uh, it could also be a white white it's always the same uh, debate I don't know that it needs to be that either um, what I haven't checked is is there a tough a two power uh, two two flyer for two in white uh, toughness equals two. It's gonna give us a bunch of uh, multicolor cards. Um, we get a two two that gains flying. Uh, we get a two two that gains flying. We get a two two flying, but it's too wide and it's got a upside. We get a two two flyer for two white. So yeah, two two flyer for two white is uncommon. Um, what else do we have? We have basically nothing else. Um, I guess two white is a big cost, isn't it? Like you get straight up a... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I've seen creatures that are like three abilities, like first strike, lifelink, vigilance or something for two white. So I can imagine um, you can do a bunch of things for two white, um, which is good, I guess. I mean, we could, we could try and push this by going that route. Um, that's, that somewhat makes, I mean, that makes some sort of sense. Um, yeah, I wonder. Because um, as it is, one in a one in a white for two two fire is a little funky. Uh, I mean, it's not. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's legendary, so. There's always that. Um, hmm. Hmm. What do you say? I, I don't love the idea of putting it to white white. And again, I feel like if I put it to white white, I come back to the level of a normal rare might be able to be a two. two I mean, a normal rare can definitely be a two two flyer uh, for white and white. This one has besto, which is good. Um. Hmm. Also, plus two, plus two flying. There's also this. There's also if we do this, that, and we go all the way to like this. No, I want to go all the way to that actually. Plus two, plus one, flying for three um, is not as good as whatever flight that's one in a blue for um for plus two plus two flying but it also can be a creature uh which honestly in in, in limited is fantastic but that's a rare so we don't really care but in um in constructed i don't know that putting your plus two plus two flying and making it one more I don't know that giving the alternative to be a 2 1 for 2 is like completely game changing. It's good, but it's in the same ballpark of power, more or less. The other thing is the plus 2 plus 2 for 2 kind of got played just because of certain cards that were there around uh, it. I don't know that plus 2 plus 2 flyer for 2 would be played uh, in most standard. Uh, that being said, it just still kind of feels bad. Oh, I forgot that Besto falls. Besto falls down as a creature afterwards. Oh, that's too good then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, because you you give plus two plus one flying for three, and then you uh, when the creature you you enchant dies, you do become a uh, two on fire yourself. So we can't push it that much. That's not reasonable. Um, okay. So I think now if we do. But we can probably still put it to two. I feel like now 
if we want to be able to have a two, two fly plus two plus two flying that transforms into a two 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 flyer for quote unquote that cheap, uh, we might get a downside of the main uh, mode being kind of nerfed that way because you go well that's pretty cool but also it can be that but that is not that fantastic that's like an uncommon that probably never see so play uh, in constructed uh, that's a possibility uh, there's a lot of things to tweak now huh? we can do colorless here we can do two on here we can do five here five being we can do two white white three and a white three and white white I don't think it's quite uh, needed uh, but it could be four and a white so the Nimbus Nyad, the thing is the Nimbus Nyad basically is this because it's two and a blue and white white is fine, it's same ballpark and the Nimbus Nyad is four and a white so if we were f four and a, I mean four and a blue four and a white here, we would virtually be a Nimbus Nyad because this is uh, um, uh, how do you say, fringe uh, upside so I like this version I don't want to be a Nimbus Nyad we are a legendary creature right so I almost want to put it back to one and a white now because now again I feel like we have a downside on Nimbus well no we have a no it's it's still basically an upside on Nimbus Nyad we have an, an upside here an upside there and yeah, that might be fine one mana less, two white, one mana less, two white, Nimbus Nyad. Nimbus Nyad was not particularly, uh, was not uh, constructed playable, but I feel like it is close-ish. Close-ish. It's not close. <laughs> it's close-ish. So moving on, um, I'm sure there is ways of tweaking that to make it a little more legendary feeling. Um, but I think it's kind of cool. And if you have a format with a, a good legendary creature, that can become a pretty good role player. So we'll just pretend that's the case. Now, we have another one that's a little complex to figure out. Um, what I want to make now is a legendary worm. Uh, now, the thing is, um, we might be bound a tiny little bit by art um, I don't know how many worms I'm gonna find the problem with the worm uh, to make a legendary worm is it is going, going to be hard um, trying to come up with a worm that feels legendary I don't know that many uh, legendary cards are like animals uh, I think legendary usually is a character, so that's something that's gonna be around and come back and have a role in the in the story. So it's most likely not just an animal, uh, unless it's a very smart animal. So that's going to be tricky. I like this guy to be honest because you can see that he is first he kind of looks smart, he kind of looks like a dragon, and he's obviously like kind of snaking around the the forest and being kind of low on the ground and kind of up, uh, obviously up to something you look at the first comment over here says he's defiantly on a mission I don't know if that was supposed to be definitely he's defiantly on a mission so the first comment is somebody who feels like this creature is sentient so we might have found something pretty cool here um, I was for some weird reason considering um, oh yeah I know why I was um, considering um, making it a gruel creature because um, uh, that would be great if you wanted to do a, a commander out of it because worms are basically for the most part in red and uh, green even though there's a bunch of them in black and there is a couple in white or at least in Zelenia colors but um, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can um, first come up with the design and see if we if we shoehorn uh, red into the design. Uh, now the thing is, I haven't thought much about what we should be doing with the with that. Um, so let's see. 
Um, da -da -da. Oops. Oops. Oh my god. I apologize. Uh, okay. Um, anyways. So, um, a worm uh, worthy of being a legendary. Um, what would that look like? Uh, most likely it's going to be a big creature, quite obviously. Uh, this worm that we found is is looking definitely big but not like a monster of um, um, a vo massive volume uh, it doesn't look like a savage worm uh, by any mean um, so hmm. but the worm um, it's going to be hard to not have such a worm have trample. Um, I think I might... Vigilance is something that feels kind of right for a legendary creature that kind of looks sentient. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so what else? What else, what else? Uh, let's drop the uh, illustration here. Huh? Uh, where is it? I don't find it. Where's my worm? Huh? Am I completely missing it? What's going on here? It's called forest. Oh, there you go. To go off. So yeah, it looks smart. I actually even like I'm looking at it right now, and I kind of wanted to either have um, tr uh, visions or reach. Uh, reach kind of makes sense because you think of something that's super big and um, can just kind of uh, coil up and and grab things in the air. The kind of unfortunate thing here is that the uh, illustration shows us a, a worm that's like low to the ground and its entire body is below the trees so it's a little um, counterintuitive uh, we might not want to overthink it too much um, so I don't know um, yeah I don't really know maybe it'll, it'll depend on what we uh, come up for the ability um, so what could a legendary worm do? One of the one of the thing that came to me even though it does I guess maybe it doesn't make all that much sense is I wanted to do um I didn't want to do I thought of what if it makes worm tokens? Um That's one thing a legendary worm could do. Because, because keep in mind, we don't want to make a. Oh, we probably don't want to make a worm that goes, well, I'm just big and I'm gonna get plus X plus X trample, or I'm gonna get counters on me, or I'm gonna deal damage. I mean, maybe deal damage or something like that, but. Um, hmm. One thing I could see as well is oh let's see let's see one thing I'm thinking of something that's kind of funny uh, what if uh, I don't know about the power exactly what if this guy had green uh, oh boy really really I have a name. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh -huh. I 
think it's kind of funny. Um, do we do Wooberg? Uh, red, green. It's it's definitely weird. <laughs> it's definitely weird. Um, it's weird, but it's kind of funny. Um, also, what I could do if I want to make it actually really legendary, I could do um, I could do reach. So wait, I could move trample here. So yeah, reach, and I could do trample. It's kind of funny. Um, and if I wanted to make it a better card, I can do maybe something like this. Um, I don't think I. I wish I could drop it to five, but unless I do uh, this. I don't really see how that would be possible. Um, because the thing with this is I I kind of want to be able to give it haste of vigilance. Well, haste, I guess. Uh, otherwise, that's kind of a wasted uh, ability. That being said, it can be a rich vigilance trample for two a turn afterwards, uh, which is rather amazing. So maybe we don't need to cheat, uh, making it a six mana, uh, six six rich haster. Uh, we might not need that. Um, how much is uh, search uh, the Colossus? Was it a Colossus? Um, the guy who saw some play in uh, in Theros. Um, was it a Colossus? I think he had a better name than that. Uh, no, it's an Arbor Colossus. So the Arbor Colossus is a 6-6 six, six for exactly that cost with reach, which is exactly what I was looking at, 6-6 six, six reach for that cost. Uh, and he had a better ability, I think, than mine. Huh? He had get an extra mana, become a 9-9 nine, nine and destroy a flyer. Uh, that seems much better than even my mega mix of abilities over here. Um, so I guess as it is right here, it would definitely be a thing. Um, I could potentially even do this, uh, if not the opposite. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of fun. Um, that solves the problem of color identity. Um, because a card such as this one has a color identity of Naya. Um, it is not particularly exciting though. Um, it, is it is not particularly exciting. Um, even a 6-7 six, a six, Vigilance Trample Reach is close enough from uh, like a giant um, spider I remember what's her name uh, there are spiders that are that are like it's not giant spider giant spider is the the original right yeah um, like things that are a six six vigilance reach trample or whatnot I mean just big things uh, there there's there are some of those um, Hmm. <laughs> you know it would be hilarious, but I think it's gonna be too much. Is if I do, so I can maybe bump the cost uh, a bunch, but I could do this. Bump the war against vigilance and life link until end of turn. The war against haste and. I don't know, maybe Menace. It's better than... I was going to say First Strike, but that's not very... 
that's not a good thing to do. Uh, and but the worm can reach and try and pull into the turn. So something that's kind of funny is, well, this is fantastic, um, but actually it's probably the one that's too good. Uh, this one is okay. You need two creatures to block it and ace. They kind of come up. I mean, they, I guess they come up at the same time. Um, yeah, they come up at the same time, but after the fact, you only have menace. And then you get Reach and Trample, which uh, doesn't work together. So that's kind of fine. It's kind of like a trick of you use a green for Reach, use a green for Trample. We don't care. You know, use it. Use the same ability uh, on attack and on defense. Um, I don't love the idea of being able to do Vigilance Lifelink, though. Um, and first strike and lifelink doesn't sound particularly smart either um that being said that we're running out of uh white abilities uh can i search evergreen white oh boy white abilities is it gonna give me something oh wow <laughs> Thanks, Google. Double strike, first strike, flying, lifelink, vigilance, secondary scry. Really? Um, it's unfortunate. Um, first strike is pretty mean. Uh, vigilance and first strike. I I don't I don't like that. I don't. First strike, lifelink is just. Super mean. I mean, vigilance is definitely a problem because you we're making a card that's so powerful with all the abilities that um, having it on defense as well as attack, I think, is basically uh, the biggest problem now. Um, that being said, uh, how much is um, how much abilities is a chroma packing? Not that we want to make an Acroma, really, but it flies, and it's got First Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Haste. So it does have First Strike and Vigilance, but it doesn't have Lifelink. Um, which is potentially another type of solution, I guess, is not to give it a, a Lifelink so that even though you can kind of wreck the place with the Vigilant for Striker, you... Uh, cannot. Oh no, there's a problem. Uh, oh no, there is not a problem. Um, um, you you can just take the game completely away by gaining six or twelve life and just be completely out of reach. So that's a possibility. Um, it's just pretty mean, isn't it? Um, so right there, I would maybe put it back to f seven. Is not fantastic, I guess that and it would cost you seven to uh, to give it haste basically um first strike and menace is fine uh vigilance doesn't combine with anything else than first strike when it blocks and reach haste menace and trample don't combine uh for a second i thought uh, it was some type of death touch ability that would combine with first with a trample that would be pretty mean but we don't have that First Strike and Trample don't do anything particular. Um, so, I don't know, that might be fine. I think I would put it in Mythic Rare because that creature has six abilities on it. Um, and that could be kind of fun. I mean, I, I don't think it's a fantastic card. It's very, it's kind of very teeny. Um, but, isn't it fun to see a creature that can have six different abilities and yet isn't particularly insane? I don't think it's... I think it might be very good, but I, it doesn't feel insane. Uh, Akroma has one, two, three, four, five, and then those two. Uh, and this guy has six, but one of them is... I mean, haste. I guess Akroma has haste as well. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think that's I think that's kind of fun actually. Um, I kind of like uh, kind of ridiculous ancient worm. Uh, I'll try and make up a flavor for it. Um, so that's cool. I think I'm gonna call it. I have a card that's that's kind of fun here. 
Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we get our. I'll, I'll probably make a uh, Theros if I can manage it. I'll make a Theros card of, out of this guy. Um, find a Pegasus image and blah blah blah. Uh, that was fun. That was that was kind of interesting. Uh, thanks very much for watching. This is the last episode before uh, the pre-release of Eldritch Moon, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I made a uh, hyper, uh, hyper basically, hyper, hyper fast, hyper caffeinated uh, uh, review of the entire spoiler uh, that you can find on this channel. Uh, if you do, uh, don't hesitate to give me some feedback and. Uh, I would love it if you uh, liked and subscribed and followed and all of those things so that you can see more of the content. Uh, you will see this article uh, show up tomorrow on all of my social outlets uh, as usual. Uh, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Twitch that are up here, uh, Facebook and on the Reddit of uh, slash custom magic. That's an amazing uh, subreddit. You should check it out. That is all for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.